Welcome to my channel, Levy Vintage Rose. This video is a hot mess, and uh, there's a lot of reasons why. I'm going to go into how it is to make videos for YouTube. It's actually pretty difficult. I have my GoPro on over here, and I guess the angle is not correct, so I don't know how people would know, like, if the angle is correct. But apparently, there's a way because everyone else is able to make their videos. But, um, so I'm looking at a bunch of stuff here. There's a lot of clothes. Uh, there's Hawaiian shirts. There's bathrobes. Um, I found a lot of summer items. This was before I went to San Francisco, so it was the end of summer. It's really simple to annoy a chupacabra. This is a button-down men's shirt. I have a couple of watchers on this one. I have some of the items, or actually I think most of the items I have listed already. I do tend to like to buy bathrobes because they sell well for me. It's kind of surprising how hard it is to find a bathrobe that you really like. So I've been there and I think I can understand why people would want to go online to find one because it's pretty hard to find one. Um, let's see, I think I'm looking at uh, the bottom of my final selections. Uh, here's a Sheer Shucker Material Summer Bathrobe. I have listed this uh, Christmas type of uh, type of romper, a sleeper, a pajama romper, um, but that has not sewed. I had a very good season for the holiday sales because it was especially cold the last couple of months. A lot of things were selling. This is some Mickey Mouse shirts that I found. I thought I would sell it for Christmas, but those did not sell. Um, we're looking at the bottom of my selection because I haven't figured out how to film with my GoPro. Sometimes I go out with my phone camera. Sometimes I go out with the GoPro. And it's not as much fun thrifting while filming. This is a Tina Turk pair of summer pants. They're pretty cool. They uh, have a high slit on those and they make them in a lot of different patterns and colors and they sell pretty well. So maybe I'll sell them when this cold weather is over. This is a pair of Banana Republic pants. They're a pretty cool pattern. It would be nicer if they were a wide leg, so maybe that will keep it from selling. I do have it listed and I haven't sold it yet. Here's a bunch of tops. I have this listed um, and that hasn't sold. I do like this tie-dye pattern. They do well for me in the summer months. I think people buy them uh, to go on vacation or to go to the islands and things like that. Here's some floral dresses. I didn't buy every single one of these, but most of these I did buy. I think there's maybe about four items here that I did put back, um, but I did buy most of these items. Um, this one I put back because it uh, didn't have a brand on it. I think it's really hard to sell something if it doesn't have a brand tag. Uh, this is a uh, Max Studio gauzy type of dress. Um, and here, this is an organic cotton summer dress. Organic materials seem to be real popular. This dress here I have listed, but I haven't sewed yet. A lot of them did sell through on eBay uh, before I had mine listed, so it was a popular style. Um, so we'll see if I'm going to sell it this coming summer. Here are some more summer dresses, lots of colors. 
All of these I found in one store. I spent a lot of time in the store going through everything. The store is huge and they have a lot of inventory. Um, I did list this dress here and this was also a very popular dress that sewed through. So hopefully people are still going to buy it this coming summer. Um, sometimes I do price things a little bit higher because I don't want it to sell through because maybe I want to keep it or maybe I don't want it to sell so fast because I'm uh, uh, too busy to, I don't want it to sell through too fast because I'm kind of busy uh, during that time. So when I have time, and uh, that's how I, I like to manage my business. Here's a pair of Universal Threads overalls. Those sewed already for me. I've already sewed a couple of pairs of overalls. They're real popular. People love to have them. I have a pair myself that I'm going to be wearing probably. Um, this is a spy zone dress, which sells really well for me. I sewed a couple of those last summer. This dress here, I put it back. It was a handkerchief type of uh, dress. And I did buy this uh, scarf. It could be a wrap skirt or it could be used as a shawl. Um, people also like to hang them up uh, to cover windows or, you know, to decorate uh, their uh, flats uh, around the Venice area. People love to decorate that way. Um, this is a rabbit fur halt hippie vest. I actually bought it, but I was looking at it and it actually looks horrible on. I think it's something that, you know, might be really cool for uh, the festivals, but as far as wearing it, it was just uh, really horrible looking. So I sent it back. I exchanged it. And it was expensive as well. I think it was $34.99. So I did send it back. And they don't sell through very quickly on eBay either. So this is a digital print uh, fabric swatch of material. I did consider buying it because per yard it is quite expensive. Um, it still had the original price tag on it. And it was a pricey. Uh, material that I guess somebody custom ordered but I think it would take a very particular person that is looking for this pattern and it would just take too long to sell so I did put that back. Here's a pair of Land's End slippers. They were new with tag which I did buy because I wanted it to sell through for the Christmas season but there's a lot of them on eBay. They have a lot that sold and a lot that uh, people have listed. This is some tobacco cards um, that people like to collect. I actually haven't really taken them out of the frame. I need to look at it a little bit more closely and get these listed. I kind of have uh, some time to put my videos together. So I'm trying to get a lot done. It is hard to have a YouTube channel because there's just so much that needs to get done. And I have all kinds of stuff on my computer. So everything is all over the place and I need to get better organized. Coming up next, bathrobes and Hawaiian shirts sold. This is a medium size high low hattie Hawaiian shirt and it only costs six dollars. I've included the details right on the screen. I like to post the sewed notifications that I get on my email or on my cell phone. These are not best offers where you don't really know what they got for it and they could be exaggerating right like some people like to do. I decided to buy a number of Hawaiian shirts. This is a rain spooner Christmas shirt. 
I've had a couple of inquiries about it because they do have the year of the shirt hidden in the design. So people sometimes want to get a certain year. The same buyer bought this black shirt, both the rain spooner and this black KY Hawaiian shirt are extra large and bought by the same person. The buyer may have bought them as a gift. Many of the items in my store are bought for gift purposes. I get requests to write birthday notes or to ship them to a different address without a receipt. This bathrobe was the first one that I got. It was 50% off. price. That's why the price was so reasonable and it was a very high quality bathrobe. And I was very pleased with the amount that I got for it. The next bathrobe by Sonoma Goods for Life. These bathrobes are very, very soft with a high-end design that is desirable. This bathrobe sold for the price that you see listed there. This official Batman bathrobe was very long. It probably went to the ankles of a tall person and most bathrobes are only mid-length or so. It's great for cold weather and people that want longer bathrobes. Not everyone wants mid-length bathrobes. I'm always happy to sell these because they do take up some space. And when I clear out the space, I could shift some of my items around. I started adding the location of my items to my spreadsheet. Mid-length bathrobes are really common, so when I see longer bathrobes, that's perfect for cold weather. It's like wearing a blanket. I usually will buy those. And now to a small thrift store in Los Angeles. I was walking around and I saw this small independent thrift store with a one dollar sign. Not everything was a dollar, they explained to me later. I'm not sure if they got everything at the bins. This one item paid for everything that I bought there. It was purchased by somebody in the East Coast and I shipped it off. It was very light, very pretty colors. I was wondering if they got their things at the LA bins, but they don't just have shorts and like uh, really thin clothes that don't cost much. Selling a lot of lightweight items and rushing around expecting to pay your mortgage. It's kind of unrealistic, right? They have a bunch of um, makeup and jewelry on the table. I like to look at those items. I don't buy much jewelry. I also don't buy much makeup. Following is a few of the items that I did sell when I bought the, from this little store. It's kind of fun to stop in when I'm in the area. None of these items took a long time to sell. None of them sold immediately, but they certainly didn't take more than like a year. Um, yeah, the clothes moved relatively quickly. And the two glasses, they took a little bit longer, but I think I got a pretty good price for those. Thrift with me in Los Angeles and San Francisco, maybe tomorrow. <laughs>